Today we're going to do a quick webinar talking about the differences between cabinets, carts, and EHR systems in terms of medication administration. So what is a dispenser cabinet, what is a medication cart, and where does an EHR with the barcode scanning capability come into play? There's a lot of confusion right now and we talk to a lot of our customers at EHR Tutor who have purchased a cabinet with ideas that it does something that it doesn't necessarily do or they've purchased a cart and they're disappointed in the functionality. So our goal is really to prevent that from happening so that nobody's spending their grant money on items that they may not need. And if you do need these items, hopefully we can provide a little bit of guidance as far as where to find them and what questions to make sure you ask when you're looking at how to do this process and how to create a lab based on this process. Let's talk about how this works in the real world. First, the nurse goes to her computer, it may be on top of a cabinet or it may be bedside, and she'll pull up her EHR or her EMR and she'll find the patient data including home medication lists, allergies, orders, anything else that she needs to review about the patient before getting and administering this medication. Then she'll go to her cabinet, it may be a Pixis or an Omni OmniCell machine, there are others on the market as well. Her EHR may be on the same computer that's attached to that cabinet, but typically the cabinet software does run independently and she will take out the proper medication based on what is ordered for that patient. So the cabinet's sole purpose is to house uh, medications, including narcotics, and within that, it will also do inventory and the physical act of keeping track of the meds themselves. So she'll choose a medication and it'll pop up a drawer, which will allow her to take that specific medication out. She then puts that medication into a cart or some other device to carry it to the patient's bedside. Now it's important that a cart is different than a cabinet. The cart is on wheels and it's a way to transport the medication from the cabinet or the pharmacy to where the patient is. This does not house all the medications for the facility. It only houses the medication she puts into it. So now we take our cart over to the patient and that's where we actually do the administration. So now we go back and we pull up our EHR or EMR. It again may be on the same device that's attached to the cart. It may be on a computer or a laptop that's at the patient's bedside. Now we pull up the patient data again in the EHR system. We take a barcode scanner, we'll scan the patient, scan the medication, and that is how we identify the medication as given. So looking at this chart, we start with finding the patient data in an EHR or an EMR system. This may happen while the nurse is standing at the cabinet. It may happen while she's still at the patient's bedside. She takes the medication out of the cabinet and does her inventory there. She then puts the medication into a cart or will carry it over to the patient's bedside. And using her EHR or her EMR, she will scan that medication at the patient's bedside, scan the patient themselves, and mark the medication as given. Now let's take a quick look at what the different pieces of this process are. So if you are in the purchasing process or if you're looking at a way to do this in your skills lab or simulation lab, you can make a decision on which of these products is best for you and your school. First, let's look at a medication cabinet. Oftentimes this gets confused with a cart. A cabinet would be the equivalent of a Pixis or an OmniCell machine. For your simulation lab, you can purchase SimCab RX. It's made by KB Port. There's also a first dose machine that's made by CAPSA. So there are a few different options on the market right now. But what this cabinet does is it's only a way to track the medications. So if you do want to practice the process of retrieving a medication, for example, or narcotic out of a drawer, counting the medications that are left and doing inventory on those meds. That is what you will use a cabinet for. If you're solely looking for a way to practice the physical administration of a drug, you do not need a cabinet. This isn't what you're looking for. So once we have our cabinet, let's talk about the next step, a cart. A lot of times a cart is what schools will use as that in-between. You may not be able to afford the cabinet right now, but you do want something a little bit more than just having your students hold their medications or pull them out of a uh, little box that you have sitting there. 
A cart is somewhat less expensive than a cabinet. It also is a little bit lower tech. It does not do the inventory. It is not in real life what a nurse would use to pull narcotics. What it is, is it's a way to store the medications. So if you want her to pull open a patient's drawer while she's bedside and take out the medications that belong to that patient before giving them, that would be a cart. Uh, you can buy, again, KB Port makes one of these. It's SIM Cart RX. Uh, and there's a few others. You can purchase one from Rubbermaid, and there's a few other uh, products that you can get. Yeah. Now, let's talk about an EHR or an EMR. If you have a system, for example, we produce EHR Tutor. It's an academic EHR. The EHR system is separate from your cabinet and your cart. In real life, it's rare that the EHR will fully integrate with either a cabinet or a cart. If the EHR does integrate with either of those products, the most it will do is push the patient data and the orders to the cabinet. And in a cart, it will typically just push the patient name so the name can correspond with the correct drawer. In the academic world, we're working right now with EHR Tutor to integrate with KB Ports cabinets and potentially some others. What integration means is if you go to your cabinet, you will be able to see the patient name and potentially the orders. If you go to a cart, you'll be able to see the patient name that matches up with EHR Tutor. That does not mean that you can record anything about the administration of a drug within the cabinet or the cart. The cabinet and the cart are solely ways to lock up your meds. When you need to actually barcode scan the patient and barcode scan the medication, that happens in the EHR system. So for schools who are just looking for a way to do barcode scanning at the bedside in their simulation lab, you do not need a cart and you do not need a cabinet. For you, just having a box sitting next to the bed where they can open and close the box to take out the medications will be enough because what you need is the EHR system. So depending on how realistic you want to get with that medication process, you may want all three of these items so they can mimic the entire workflow. You may just want a piece of this. So if you just need to practice the um so if you're just reinforcing the skills that are involved when students are taking out narcotics or opiates or any of those other painkillers, you need the cabinet. If you want to talk about just keeping your medication safe while transporting them and you want a place to keep your medications in your lab so they're not all scattered around, that would be your cart. If you want a way to actually give the medications and record that on the patient chart and look at the patient background and data, then you need the EHR system. So you can pick and choose any piece of these. When you do do that, the best thing to think of is what are your goals so you're not purchasing things that you don't need. And again, keep in mind the EHR system is separate from the actual cabinets and the carts. And I know that's something that we hear a lot is people expect that they're getting the whole thing when they purchase the actual physical hardware. Should be a good overview of the basics when it comes to carts, cabinets, and EHRs. I'm going to go ahead and open this up for questions. So if anybody does have any questions, feel free to unmute yourselves and ask anything that you can come up with. Otherwise, I'll make sure to include the contact information on this last slide here. You can always reach out to sales at ehrtutor.com if you do have any other questions.